This episode is brought to you by Rune. Click the link in the description box below for more information. I don't know whether I need to mention that I'm not doing a review normal video in my house this week because we're upgrading the website and I've just spent hours on that this week. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about the Sonos Roam because yeah, it's a big story, but it's a little kind of Bluetoothy speaker that has no stereo separation and it does Wi-Fi as well. So you could, you could use it as a little rune endpoint, but our first story this week comes from the UK's Cambridge Audio and their swiftly evolving range of true wireless earphones. Two years ago, the British company introduced something called the Melomania, which was a little true wireless IEM with bullet shaped earpieces. And then last year, they introduced something called the Melomania Touch, which was a more traditionally shaped IEM, again true wireless, but that also came with a control app. This week, we're back to the bullets with the introduction of the Melomania One Plus. Now that means we still get IPX5 sweat and rain resistance. We still get the same 5.8 millimeter graphene driver inside, and we still get advanced Bluetooth audio codecs, AAC and Aptex. Furthermore, we still get nine hours of runtime from a single charge, and that expands to a frankly huge 45 hours when we factor in the flip top case. However, the OnePlus brings with it two notable upgrades. The first being the ability to talk to the same app that we use with the touch. And then in that app, we can activate something called high performance amplification mode, albeit with a two hour penalty to battery runtime from a single charge. Best of all, the Melomania OnePlus still sell for a very competitive 130 euros. Now we move to Romania, where Meze Audio are celebrating 10 years of being in the headphone business by introducing a special edition version of their flagship Empyrean headphone. And this new version has a very fancy name. It's called the Art Gallery Empyrean Phoenix. Now the new model still has the same internals as the original. So we still get Renaro's isodynamic hybrid driver. So where we have different traces for the low frequencies and the high. But with this Phoenix edition, the CNC milled aluminum structure and frame has been hand painted with this sort of red flame effect because you know, Phoenix flames. And that turns this special edition into a work of contemporary art, according to founder Antonio Meze. And because of the hand painted frame, each pair is unique. And they're also extremely limited in number. I believe I read somewhere that they might even just be limited to 100 pieces. Each one will be individually numbered somewhere on the headphone and pricing comes in at 4,000 US dollars or 2,900 great British pounds. And if you think that's expensive, wait until you hear about the new CD player from uber high-end manufacturer, Goldman. Their all new IDOS reference CD spinner asks us to part with, wait for it, 175,000 British pounds. Now this CD player also does SACDs and the audio layer of DVDs. And we can also access the IDOS references internal DAC using a rear panel USB socket that gives us PCM up to 384 kilohertz and DSD up to 512 if you have those formats. But just imagine slapping a Raspberry Pi on that. The IDOS reference is handmade in Geneva, Switzerland and apparently weighs an enormous 110 kilos. So we can only imagine the level of engineering inside, but no, I will not be reviewing it. But if you are seriously considering this as many wealthy buyers in Asia might, then you have a choice of finishes. So classic aluminum or the special edition matte black. Our final story this week concerns something called Superbooth. Now Superbooth is a trade show for modular synthesizer manufacturers and related stuff. 
and it normally takes place every year in Berlin in May. But because of the pandemic, this year it has been moved to September. And I try to go every year because it's an absolute riot and it is, for me, the complete opposite of a traditional hi-fi show. And also because I tend to find something interesting audio related for me to cover. Now this year's event will take place at the same venue as the last four years. This is the Fez Recreational Center here in Berlin. It's actually just a little bit east of here. And the 2021 edition has been dubbed by its organizers, Schneidersladen, the Safety First Edition. So that means a stronger focus on smaller companies who can actually make the trip to Berlin in September. It also means that exhibitor booths will be more spread out on the inside of the center. And then a huge area of outdoor space, because it's September, has been allocated to outside exhibitor booths. And there will also be some fairly strict crowd management procedures in place to ensure the safety of everybody. Thankfully, unlike 2019, this year's super booth does not clash with Munich High End. So this safety first 2021 edition of super booth will run from the 15th to the 18th of September. That's it.